truck being, you know, how much is the truck if you ten, uh, if you're leasing? But you don't get questions like, how do you retain your drivers? Like, I mean, technically, you're on Facebook looking for drivers. We just need to know how do you retain the drivers that you already have. That it give me that it give me an idea on if it's gonna, you know, if it's gonna work out or not. So. Yeah, sure. So, you know, he goes into his little rant about that. And then I was like, well, you know, it's legitimate questions. But I was like, you know, I was like, look, um, wonder why the questions is limited, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take too much of your time. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take too much of your time. I just want the little bit of time that you can give me to, you know, to go over the questions that I had. So, you know, we went over the questions and all like that, but it, it, it's just that the 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 conversation was just dry. You know what I'm saying? Right. It it was it was just dry. And I and I, you know, kind of after I hung up, I I kind of went into a rant about uh about companies that's trying to hide uh that's trying to hide the secret sauce, man. Like what what I mean, what makes your company what what why do you feel that your company should be at the top of the mountain while other companies is out here giving out the information? Like, what are you hiding? You know, if you put the information out there, if you put the information out there on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, well, they ain't they ain't nothing from them on YouTube, but you put it in your way, like if we have questions call so what what am i missing here so <laughs> so yeah man i mean the you know like i said it's you know when i put it together i'll send it to you but you know like i said from from what i got out of it it was it, it was pretty dry i mean it's number one it's a chicago it's a chicago land company out of illinois bro um uh -huh. 10 1099 um 1099 company driver uh 70 cents a mile they run reefer flat they run reefer flatbed and dry van um let me see uh <laughs> no benefits so if you go in there looking for benefits they don't have none they they don't help you they won't help you with the benefits either so you have to find your you have to find your own benefits. Uh, you don't have to worry about there's there's no truck payment. Uh, he claims that there's no uh, what do you call it? No. Um, uh, no. Um, God damn it. What do you call it? Um, no, no force dispatch. He claims that it's okay. not no force dispatch, but. I, I'm going to think it is, you know, just just from just from what I, you know, what I felt from them. So I, uh -huh. you know, if you you said that they was trying to reach out to you. So how how they was how was they was trying to reach out to you? Uh, through phone, uh, through phone call. I had, you know, uh, inbox on Facebook, you know. Trying to get the information on the company. Oh, there you he go. Gave I can't, there you go. I can't hear you. You need to come a little bit closer. Okay. What about now? All right. There you go. Go. Okay. Yeah. I have. Oh. I'm trying to find out more about that company. You going out again? Yeah. You going out again? I'm losing. Hello. You. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> All right. Hello. Uh, can you hear me now? I okay. got you. I can hear you now. Good. Yeah, I was saying uh, I had found them on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I was trying to find some info on them, but I couldn't just really find any, uh, uh, you know, info on them. So he he called me back, but oh, you did? Uh, I guess what, my conversation. Uh, what was the me, what was the conversation and, between y'all two? Uh, about the position, uh, about running teams, and uh, mm -hmm. what position they had available, mm -hmm. and it was pretty much kind of like. A rush conversation. It was like he was trying to 
rushed me into, you know, going ahead and sending, like, going ahead and sending my info over. And then, like, once I just sent my driving license over and they check everything with the insurance company, he, he was like, then, you know, he can give me more information. You know, I was, hmm. but I was trying to get the most information I could. Now, you know what? That's that's another that's another red flag. Um, that's another red flag. Yeah, no, no, don't. I, I had another company that that told me the same thing. You know, I got to send in my I got to send in my uh, my uh, driver's license and all like that. And then, they'll, you know, it'll take a couple of days to run background checks and all like that. And then at least with this company, they said that. Then we'll, you know, when everything looks all right or come back all right, then we'll send you the Itali link to fill out the application to bring you on. But see, my thing is this. I, I'm, I'm like you said, you wanted to talk to him. You wanted to ask him, you know, some pivotal questions, but you just felt like you was rushed. Right. Uh huh. Yes, so, sir. So you just felt like you was rushed trying to, you know, trying to rush you in, trying to rush you into something. And that's what some of these that's what some of these uh, recruiters try to do. You know, they you know, they, they'll give you minimal information at maximum progress to try to get you in. Mm -hmm. And then when you get in. It's it, it turns out to be not what you're looking for turns out not what you liking you know so so what else what what else was how how long you guys was on the phone for uh probably a good six seven minutes <laughs> oh god probably not even that long oh god damn who <laughs> who 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 initiated the yep. who, who initiated the quote unquote i'll call you back you or him uh -huh. Pretty much. Hold on, what'd you say? Because you broke up there. Yeah, yeah, I was saying, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that was, that, that's how it was going. Right. So, so who 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 initiated that? You or him? Uh, I call you back, part. Yeah. He he did. He was like, uh, I call you back. You know, once I get all your information, and you know, uh. Then we'll go from there because he kept, you know, kept pushing it, you know, that I go ahead and send my route and go ahead and try to submit it to the company as soon as possible. Mm. And uh, he asked my email and he sent me over, he sent me over a link uh, with the application. Okay. To Docker sign. Okay. So uh, with, with, with all the information that you got, you know, from you know, from what I told you, and the little bit of time that you had with him, what's what's your overall takeaway of the company now? I'm skeptical. I'm I'm real cautious with it because, like, you know, I still have questions that's unanswered that he wasn't you know, really able to answer for me. So it's like, you know, you want me to sign, but you still haven't answered any questions. Was he able to answer? Biggest thing out. Oh, go ahead. No, they, no, they, you know, on their on their web page on Facebook, you know, they make it sound good, and you no, know, I did my reviews. I looked for them, and you know, I seen a lot of, uh, like folks dealing with like brokers, like they broke it out low. I only mm -hmm. found like I think one, one or two persons that come in and up under of it, saying that they were drivers, and they said that they like it. Uh, it was a good company, but. Sometimes you gotta. You, go sometimes you gotta. Yeah, you you gotta take. Uh, you gotta take reviews with a gain of salt with with companies like that that you haven't even heard of. Because like I told him, it was like, yo, bro. I mean, you know, a, a lot of these companies is popping up on Facebook, Instagram. I haven't heard of them. You know, I I mean, I know there's a lot of trucking companies out here. And, you know, I, I heard of a few, but a lot of these companies on Facebook, bro, I haven't heard of them at all. And they only been in existence for only like 10 years at the most because I asked them, uh -huh. I asked them, 
you know, when they when they started business, I think he said back in 2015 or 2012. I want to I want to at least be correct on that, you know, 2012 at the most. But still, you know, they you know, they, they you know, 10 years under 15 years that they only been in the business. And they they popping up all over Facebook over here offering wolf tickets, and then when we get with the company, you know it, it's it's ten ninety nine. So if if the company should shut its doors or whatever, you know we will be left out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. True. True. So there's I mean there's there's a lot of co I mean there's a lot of companies that closed it up. You know, 2019, 2018, 2020, the biggest one being uh, Celadon. And then there was uh -huh. another company that been in business for over 40 years. And that was uh, and that was Dylan, the tanker company. So you okay. so okay. we got so we got these companies that's coming in on Facebook that we never even heard of with messed up names. Mm -hmm. We we go to we go to look for them, you know, in reviews or whatever, and we only get maybe one or two people that 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 will put in a review or whatever, and then you know we see on the Facebook page that yo we this and we got that and this that and the third, and we see on we see on the the website the same thing, but when you got a person like me to give you a call, you you. You don't want to give up the information. Mm -hmm. You know, you you don't want to give up Some, the information. What what sauce you hiding? I ain't it. <laughs> There's some you had. So, so yeah, man. So shout out to you for you know uh, uh, suggesting the company. I you know, like I said, I you know do a little do your due diligence when it comes to that company man and um and you know just watch it you know like i said it's it's a you know it's a 1099 company uh for solo i'm not sure i'm not sure how much teams make but he said solo drivers would uh would make 70 cent a mile uh i think it's either drive in or something like that maybe and then I think uh, maybe a little bit more for reefer, and I think it's percentage for the for the flatbed. I guess I'm not sure, uh, but yeah, man, definitely, uh, definitely do your due diligence on any company for that matter, man. What about uh you? You said oh, yeah. you you said that the company you driving for right now you only been there for a month, but you already experiencing some issues with that. What what do you got to say about the company you driving so far? Ooh, wait. Oh, what did I say about? Them? <laughs> uh, management, uh, dispatchers, they don't communicate with each other. They don't communicate with the owner. Mm -hmm. Uh, when the dispatchers may, uh, when a dispatcher mess up on something, then they blame you for it. Uh. The boss man is just a noxious asshole. I don't know. I don't know what his problem is. He he talked to everybody like they trash, like they dogs, like they don't like they don't matter. I'm talking about like I called him last week about something on my pay period, and now what another dispatcher told me, and he told me uh, she's not the fucking boss. I'm the fucking boss. Uh, I'm out of town. Don't call my phone. Call the office. <laughs> wow. But, <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you, you, you run teams over there. I run teams. Uh, it's actually, and the company is actually like an hour away from my house. So, mm -hmm. like, I'm about to get ready to get off now, and I'm gonna have to drive an hour to go drop the truck off, and I'm gonna have to drive an hour back to come home. They don't let you take the trucks home. Uh, mm. And this the, mo this the most bummer part about it with, uh, was getting me about the job. Not not only do he has a bad mouth attitude, 
the way they pay, it sucks. So what they is pay it? Every, on a is round it, trip basis. So you get paid every other week, every week? How how do you get paid? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it, it, it's okay, he pay they they pay fifteen hundred dollars round trip. Uh we run we run chicken from Cal I mean we run chicken from Mississippi and Arkansas to California. Mm-hmm. And we load produce back coming back to Mississippi, Arkansas, Georgia, uh, South Carolina. And you have to have a round trip in order to get paid. So that means you have to take a load from chicken, chickens up to California and and then bring a load of produce back in order to get paid. From what? And the time period is from Monday to Monday. Okay, so from Monday to Monday, round trip, that's understandable, but you just mentioned fifteen hundred dollars. Is that is that uh-huh. is that fifteen hundred dollars to the truck or fifteen hundred dollars for you and your co-driver per person? Uh, it's per person. It's per person salary. They have they have cent per they have cent per mile. I think the cent per mile like sixty two cent per mile, or you can get paid on on a salary, which is fifteen hundred dollars a round trip. Uh. So like this past like this past week we left out on um on a on a Wednesday. Okay. Made it to California that Friday. Okay. And dropped off. Stayed in California all weekend and uh getting loaded. Then then yeah, didn't pick up our last two pickups to that Sunday. Okay. Time cut off Monday. So and I just delivered that load today. So by I didn't have that load back here dropped off by Monday and no by today. What's today? What's today? Today wins. Okay, by Monday, by two days ago, I won't get a check until next week. So you won't get a check this week? Friday. I won't get a check. No, I won't get a check this week. I won't get a check to next week. So you'll get a a fifteen hundred dollar check next week. Next week. And in order for the week after that, I'm going to have to run now and get a load to California and back before this Monday in order to get a check for the following week. So it's not consistent, you know. Is this is this a W-2 it's, company or are you, you, you 1099? It's a W-2. It's a W-2. It's how, a W-2 company. How, how did you, bro, I, I, bro, a motherfucking solo driver. <laughs> A motherfucking solo driver Monday through Friday could do fifteen hundred dollars a week, bro. Do, do I know a week? And you you running you running teams that's supposed to be doing Thanks. way more way more than you know two times that, bro. Uh, how long you been over there with them? A, a month. <laughs> the Friday of the month, and I'm getting relieved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. going in a hole like this. Yeah, you, 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 uh, you, you going, you going straight in the, you, you going. Wait a minute, is is black means good or red? Yeah, you going straight <laughs> in the red, bro. You going straight in the red, man. You, I know. Right? You and your is 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 your co is your co driver peoples or is that somebody uh, uh that they put you with? Uh now my people, uh my uh, my my time mother. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you, uh, y'all, y'all too. Um, I don't know. Uh, y- y- look, man. You know, on a temporary basis, go with Prime. At least you can. At least you can at least double that when you were Prime. And while you at Prime, you can still look for a a a a a, a plausible company. But as of right now, man, you guys, you guys losing money. Y'all not making no money. Uh, get getting paid I like. Know, right? Getting getting paid like getting paid like that, y'all y'all not gonna see no money this week, and then next week you only gonna see fifteen hundred dollars. I mean, would you would you see would you see more money? Like, let's say that you didn't see no money this week, you would get your fifteen hundred dollars next week. But on the flip side of that, would you get would that be any type of check that you'll see more than fifteen hundred dollars in there? Nope. Oh, it's time to go, if bro. We go past if, well, well, if we, well, if we go past, if, if we go past Mississippi, like to, it's a certain line. It's like a imaginary line past. Uh, I want to say, 
to Atlanta. Once you pass to Atlanta, they start adding 60 cent a mile to it. But still, it's a WT company, so you got all your taxes how, coming out of it. How how did you how did you find this company and and what was the conversation between you and the recruiter to get you in there? Uh, I was actually with another company. Uh, well, Excuse me. Uh, what got me over here? I was with another company that was in pre right. We was running things from uh, Missouri to California mm-hmm. uh, after Press LLC. Mm-hmm. And we had some problems with them, and because so when I started with them, we was getting paid eighty cent a mile. But then they was like they 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 uh they want us like twenty five thousand miles a month. They want us uh, they want us to run twenty five thousand miles a month in order to make eighty cent. So they dropped us down to seventy cent. So that was one of my problems for leaving with them. Then there's a lot of more stuff going on with them, you know, like they they had some crooked stuff going on. Like they they use little. But they had certain laws they used. Like right. I can only feel it like, like uh like going west, I can I, I can feel a little, but like coming back east, I can only do fifty gallons. Yeah, or, that, you know. Yeah, there was some you know, I I used to drive for J and R Swoo and there was some it was some fuel spots that we can only fuel up uh fifty gallons and some loves that we can fuel all the way up. I, I know about that. That's them that's them trying to save money. That's that's what that is. That's yeah. that's what that is. So you know, we were we weren't getting paid what we promised over there. So you know, and then you know after we did we did everything. We cleaned out the truck and uh, made sure air, you know when no damage to the truck. We took pictures before we left the truck. The truck uh, was cleaner when they got it. Matter, matter of fact, actually the truck was cleaner when we brought the truck back to them because when we first got the truck, the truck had dog hair. I'm talking about we had to, like I said, I own a detail shop, so I spent a whole day, like, steam cleaning, uh, making sure, you know, nobody didn't have no COVID or nothing like that or no kind of, it was uh, flake skins up under the, uh, uh, up under the seats and, mm-hmm. like, on the dining room table, like, like, uh, the, the seats were, like, straight ass. When I say I had to soak these seats, the dry outside seat for like you, you're talking about the truck that you in right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, now not this one, but the one we was in before this one. This one, this, this one was nasty too when we got it. <sighs> yeah, this one was nasty also. But you know, all that that was made us kind of you know. Then after we cleaned the truck, we took it back to Alcatraz in St. Louis. You know, they took our whole escrow because we quit on. Them. So I was like, you know, I'm going to try to find a company that's closer to Mississippi, you know, close to that home case. If I need to take a truck back or something, I won't be stuck like I would have to drive it all the way back to St. Louis, have to find somebody to trail me to St. Louis, you know, things like that. So I ended up running across this couple. I had been seeing that they've been having uh, now Heron signs outside, you know, I passed pass by their office, you know, going to like Atlanta and stuff like that. So I said, let me give him a try. I gave him a call, and you no, know, she was talking good. She was like, uh, you know, it's fifteen hundred. Well, she had none of the impression though. It was like fifteen hundred dollars a trip. So me thinking on top, you know, I'm like, okay, fifteen hundred up, fifteen hundred back. That's three thousand a week. You know, I'm I'm booming. You know, three thousand dollars a piece. You know, right to each ground. You know, that's you know that's doing good. You know, then I'm right at home too. But it wasn't that. Mm, when we wow. got there, you know, and then the comp and it was and, the round trip, and then the comp and then the company that you got with now is 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 on some on some stupid stuff now and now you now uh, companies in the uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, how so, like I'm having bad luck with these stupid ass motherfuckers. <laughs> how, how hard, it, how hard it is for, how hard it is for you, and, and you say you got, you got 15 in, man. It shouldn't be that hard for you. Like, you know, <laughs> it, it shouldn't be that hard for you to, to to come in, to come in and get with a, you know, with a semi good company, man. Uh huh. I know, right? So and I was. I also had got a, got a uh thanks to your video yesterday. I was uh had got a phone call, got approved by I'm a fan right here out of Union, Mississippi, to try to be closer to home. And after watching your video, you know, 
<laughs> uh, 15 years, 41 cents, because I'm like, he was there 75, 75 a mile. 75 miles an hour, you know, running out to California. Mm-hmm. And I feel I know our size were, but we unload and load it. And, uh, you know, they they for the one cent, you know, I can't, I can't get cheeky with this. You, you know, you know <laughs> I, it's just unfortunate that I, I talk to old school drivers such as yourself. The, the money back then was, was real good. And I, I did, I just think now, you know, you know, for for a new driver, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I I get it, and I and I think that's what some of these trucking companies are are like like zero zeroing in on. You know, just the new driver, so they can get away with undercutting them. But for like drivers that's that's been driving for like 15, 20, 25 years. And to get in and to come into a company that's only going to offer you 40, 41 cent, 40 cent a mile or 50 cent a mile is just ridiculous to me. You know, I talked to I talked to a young man named James LaPratt, 45 year driver. He just got finished leaving uh, Smith, uh, Smith Transportation, and they brought him in at 45 cent a mile. And I told him, I was like, bro, that's that's crazy. I mean, this man, this this oh, yeah. man, this man is in his trilight of his life right now, you know, in his sixties, you know, still coming out here doing the damn thing. And you're gonna offer him forty five cent a mile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, at least at least at least a dollar a mile for for a driver of that magnitude. How often are you gonna get a driver of that magnitude to come in and drive for your company, bro? You know, at least a dollar. You know, Charlie. But um, but yeah, man. Well, and and they come in. They come to Alcatraz, the one we left there in St. Louis. I I I, I tell a lot of people still right for them. And they only pay you from Monday to Thursday. So that's another reason why we left because I was looking at my damn chicken. I'm like, hold on now. Well, uh, Monday to Thursday, you know, damn, I'm like, damn, what the hell happens to Friday, Saturday, Sunday? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they was doing, they was, <laughs> we wasn't getting, I promise, we. After doing the number, we was not getting paid for running on the weekend. From wow. Friday to Sunday, it was somehow they were pocketing. They, they, they were doing something with the payroll, like this deduction, this deduction right here. Mm-hmm. And then they had all the deductions on there on the 1099. Like, we was a lease purchase driver, which we, will, we wasn't. We was a company driver. And, you know, we put we posted we posted a review on um I think it's Indeed or Google, one of them. You can pull up the uh, review of yourself in Alcatraz. But it was just many people saying that they'll really, that, like, they'll really pay uh, hit men's and then then pay you what they owe you and stuff like that. And, you know, they... Oh, yeah, and, 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 and my life had got threatened while I was with them. You know, uh, the dude was like, uh, uh, if if he come up here on with that Jackson shit, I'ma show him this St. Louis shit. I'ma show him how this how we get down up here in St. Louis. We'll fuck him up. Like goddamn man, because I'm because I'm because I'm asking you about your goddamn loans. You, you got that bad? Wow. Well, I'm shit that y'all messed up. That we had to sit uh on detention. I mean you know sit on all, all weekend and not get paid for it. That's nothing. They don't pay detention. No detention. No layoff. Wow. Well, bro, uh, Juan, man, thanks for stopping by, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, I, I I hope everything work out for you and uh, you know, for you and your significant other, your co-driver, man. Hopefully, y'all get the um, uh, you know, get with a company that that would you know that would take care of you guys, you know, money wise, miles wise, and everything. So you know, if there's any other company that you want me to you know, that you want me to spotlight or that you want to suggest, man, definitely reach out to me and um, I'll get that in for you. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. I sure appreciate it. No doubt. No doubt. I appreciate you, bro. You stay safe. 
uh, tell your co-driver, I said, you know, stay safe and uh, and we'll and we'll get it in. Okay. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. All right. Take it easy, brother, man. <laughs>